Yes, yes, yes. WWE finally learned. Longer, better wrestling is better TV. Oh, hello, folks. Welcome back. I'm the one, the only Hobo Tom. And I forgot when I got my red wine, because it's a red wine and pizza Friday. I got a liter of red wine. So I'm still partaking of it. Cheers. And the reason why it's a rosé is I had a yummy buffalo chicken pizza. So chicken being a white meat, you know, white wine. Not necessarily, not necessarily fond of whites. Figured a rosé is pretty good. Enough about that. I have to get to some thank yous. Because we had a very fun pizza discussion today in the Discord. So let's see here. Checkpoint Johnny. You, sir. Because of your pizza decisions, you want two pizzas. You got that six count. Papa Doc, yes, New Jersey does have quality food. They have, let's see here, Atlantic City Boardwalk style pizza is best pizza. They have hoagies, which the only place in Florida that comes close is Jersey Mike's, hence the name Jersey Mike's. They have diners, New Jersey diners are iconic, iconic! And they have, the, they have the Casino Italian Hot Dog. So good as a Casino Italian Hot Dog. And they have the White House. Hoagies and subs. It's best stuff. Because you, sir, Papa Docs, you know what you're talking about. And you know how to play that air guitar.
Kaiju fan, you're pretty close. Knowledge about pizza is a little bit less. You still have to listen to that briefcase boombox. Drake Parker, you sir can crawl out of here. And coddling, you always win by dirty pin. And then kick out a dos. I say dos because you are a member of the El Generico Band. And that's all the thing, because again, if you would like your own per your own little shout out, you can always interact with me, the one, the only Hobo Tom over at Discord on YouTube, or you can always send an email, or you can tell me when my camera freezes. That's okay, it does. It's getting old. Or you can just send a comment, like, share, and subscribe. Then eventually, if you're like some people. You get to be a character in the Daytona Beach Bum Fight League. So we start off. We start off, and folks, and we start off, I almost knew I needed to have a drink. Because what happened, we had a Jeff, we had a Jeff Hardy recap, and that led to a signing, and they had the piss test set up. The good thing about that, well, they have the piss test. And, of course, when you have a jar of someone's urine, apple juice. That urine goes in that person's face. So, Seamus, I'll tell you what, Jeff Hardy, one, he had a lot of, either he had a lot of urine, or he was holding it for a long time. Because I'll tell you what, I've had to take urine tests for jobs. I never filled a I I don't think I've ever I don't think I've ever filled that jar up, period. No, a few times I have. But it wasn't that size of a jar. It was this size of a cup. So I knew it was it was the old apple juice trick. I think that's actually an old sports joke. I think I think in college, that was like the prank. You saw some guy drink his own piss, and he kind of switched it. He told you to go in the bathroom. That was that's when piss test meant absolutely nothing. And he went in the bathroom with like a thing of apple juice, put poured the apple juice in. So the nurse looked at him funny. This this guy was a real jackass. But yeah, he said she's like, oh, that feels cold. It's like really. Down the whole thing, everyone stared at him, and he kind of left. In fact, I don't. I think. I think he signed up for. The wrestling, was the, yeah, it was the wrestling team. But. Like he. I was out of shape. I tried. He was in shape, and he just didn't give a fuck. So, 
he just didn't care. He's like, whatever. I think he, he came in, saw the setup, and said, I'm out of here. And I, I actually think a week later he left the college too. So, again. So, yeah, but then, of course, you know, you have a jar of you're in that big. You know that jar is going to go in someone's face. And Seamus took a face full of apple juice. Oh, wow. So, in the back, Seamus is trying to wash it off of him. Oh, my God. Oh, it's so unsanitary. They peel over my face. You know, Vince is like, this is such good shit. But then the doctor told it was negative. And that's weird because I think when they do your analysis test, I want to say it takes like 24 hours. Breathalyzers are quicker, but your analysis, you're not looking necessarily for the alcohol, but you're looking for alcohol metabolites, mainly alcohol, mainly elevated levels of alcohol dehydrogenase. So when you take the piss test, they're not necessarily looking for said drug. They're looking for the metabolite of that drug. And of course, the only way to have the metabolite of the drug is to actually take said drug. Or in rare instances, an analog like poppy seeds because they come from poppy plants, which are the base of opiate drugs. When you ingest poppy seeds, you actually have opiate metabolites. But it's a little bit different, though. I think the same is true of a few other over-the-counter drugs. Like, if you take pseudoephedrine, um, the metabolites are the same products as, as meth almost, but in lower amounts. But then pseudoephedrine, you need meth for anyway. I'm not going to get into that because that's kind of illegal to talk about. But but yeah, so it was a generally piss test take 24 hours. Again, you're not looking for the alcohol. And generally just to do a breathalyzer is so much quicker. Um, it's not as accurate. It's pretty close though. And the thing is they can't they really can't fire you, fire you for alcohol dehydrogenase. I mean, assuming you're over the age of 21, like if I went in tomorrow to work and they said take a piss test, they're going to find alcohol dehydrogenase in slightly elevated levels. Yeah, it, it's not going to be, but it, it might be cause for concern. They might say, oh, what did you do last night? I said, I had some red wine and pizza. They'd probably look at me and say, okay. So again, it's one of those things that's not going to show up right away. A breathalyzer shows up instantaneously because when you drink, like I do, and if you drink, do not operate motor vehicles or most any other vehicle or anything with combustible engines. It tends to be bad. So what happens when you drink, The reason why you can smell that delicious red wine is that some of the alcohol does vaporize. And as you swallow, part of the vapors do go in your lung. And, and they can tell, like, yeah, you have so much alcohol vapors in your lung. It's part of your blood alcohol content. As well as having alcohol in your bloodstream, which is transferred through the lungs. And a computer says you have a blood alcohol level of something. And that's how they tell pretty definitively but when you do a piss test it generally takes 24 hours you're looking for a very specific chemical reaction and i've done chemical induced piss tests before for microbiology and it tests for a whole bunch of stuff the thing is you have to let it incubate it's it's all for the most part 
antibody and antigen related and, and I, I won't bore people with science it's a sandwich it's, it's almost a it's, it's almost a sandwich elijah elijah um i won't get into that for, for you for you people though but yeah it, it normally even elizas we had to incubate them at a higher temperature for about we actually had to do that for about i think starting at six hours so six hours, ugh, it's kind of the minimum time. Again, you're not going to know, like, within 20 minutes what's happening. You do have to incubate it for a time, or you have to refrigerate it for a certain time. But, again, it tends to be based in hours, not so much minutes. Unless they came up with something new that I don't know about, but but the thing is the your your analysis tests for the most part are so standardized it really doesn't happen that way. But that's science. Um, so that was it. Um, then we get to the first match. It was the new day taking on Shinsuke Nakamura and Cesaro. This is intriguing. This has some unique possibilities. Cesaro is fast with Kofi Kingston. Cesaro, however, is too strong. Um, counters Kofi's quickness with a tilt -a world backbreaker. Uh, Shinsuke Nakamura tags himself in. And there's just knees of straight, vicious. Oh, not Tai Chi. Kumite. Mutai! That's the word I was looking for. Knees. Big E. Again, he also eats some knees. He gets hung up in the corner. He eats a big knee to the gut. Uh, Kofi did try to come back. He did the off the top rope tomahawk chop, which is always good to see. Those chops and then the boom drop. He went for an SOS, but Cesaro kind of broke that up. Shinsuke Nakamura, just like, like uh, Kofi went up. He like did a knee up code breaker. Not Kofi senseless, and he got the pin. So this this was interesting. This was a actually a pretty good opening match. This is a cheeseburger match. We have Take back. Take Take Take, and Otis. They're there with a briefcase. Uh, Mandy Rose shows up, and they're just getting psyched up for their match. And he reminds them, "So you have this briefcase, you could be Universal Champion." Good guy, Tucky. Uh, Sheamus, and then in the background, Sheamus and Jeff start to brawl. But whoa, those lungs on a ref, Jess. I didn't know she could scream that loud. Is ref Jess a screamer? I would like to do some scientific research and find out. That's a whole other issue, though. Then we went to a little bit of the Intercontinental Belt history. However, they forgot two wrestlers that I will mention here. One, they forgot Chris Jericho, the champion. One time was an IC belt holder. They, met, they, they forgot a whole bunch of others, too. But the two that I noticed... I forget if they mentioned Bobo Brazil. But it was Chris Jericho was the most recent. And then Chris Benoit. I think they even showed China. I forget if they showed Jeff Jarrett. But it wasn't a complete history. It was just key wrestlers. Like the ones they showed off... Um, Pat Patterson, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, Macho Man Randy Savage, Ultimate Warrior. They mentioned the Honky Tonk Man. Um, I think Kurt Angle held the belt. Stone Cold Steve Austin, Bret Hart. Oh, and uh, they, I forget if they mentioned Owen now. Now that I think about it, um, I don't think they showed the Miz because they didn't show the white belt. Maybe they did show the Miz. I honestly forget. But, yeah, they kind of, like, focus on some of the more historical major characters in WWE. 
The fact that they left off Chris Jericho, I mean, they showed Edge, Christian, yeah, whatever. The fact that they left off Chris Jericho, yeah, that's a slap in the face to Chris Jericho. Chris Benoit, you kind of knew. Eventually, it's going to be that thing, especially with the dark side of the ring. You almost want to say time heals everything, but you don't know about Chris Benoit, though. Again, what he did was awful, but yet when you take, if 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 that never happened, if he retired, said, you know what, I've had issues, I'm I'm done. If he didn't do what he did, he'd have to be in that conversation though. But, but again, that that makes stuff entirely different. Uh, so then we have our Intercontinental Championship match. Oh, we're not worthy. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. This was Daniel Bryan versus AJ Styles, and this was amazing. This was a started off a classic technical wrestling match, both from the wrist lock position. It was so good. Um, AJ then just goes to, to decides to go all New Japan. It's the cross chops to the throat of Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan uh, dives through through the ring ropes. Um, those great rope running reversals and counters leads up to a drop kick. I mean, this is good classic pro wrestling. If Jim Cornette has anything bad to say, I, I, I will boo him. I will boo him in the comments section because this was really good. Like he has to like this one WWE match. If nothing else, it's this match because this match was amazing. Um, then Daniel Bryan went for the Muda lock to a Muda pin. Uh, AJ Styles, sunset flip, and then they went to a series of near falls, which was great. AJ Styles in the hammer lock, he gets posted. Daniel Bryan gets mean and stomps on the elbow. Uh, AJ Styles got stuck in a near Fujiwara arm bar. And then he went, and then Daniel Bryan went for the classic double arm bar, collegiate style pin. Oh. You do college style moves. Yes, I mean, you're, you're bumped up in my ranking system forever. Uh, and then Daniel Bryan goes into the turnbuckle, and then AJ works over the hamstring. The insecurity delivered onto AJ from Daniel Bryan. The, Daniel Bryan hit a Frankenstein. Daniel Bryan has to be careful like that. Like, there have been rumors Daniel Bryan wants to take some time off because his wife is going to give birth soonish. I think, or it's going to be late in the trimesters. And I know, I want to say after having, and it all depends, like the physical wear and tear in wrestling does a whole other thing on women's bodies. Uh, Maurice, I know, had issues. She had to have a C-section. Um, I don't know about Brie. I just got the two confused. When Nikki's having her kid, they had some reveal part. I don't even care about Total Bellas. That's just when I see Total Bell. When I hear about Total Bellas, which is a cause to do this. But yeah, it does take a toll. So I know after having three kids, there's a part of the pelvic bone that actually permanently breaks. That's that, that's been happening since the beginning of time. That's nothing to do with wrestling. Yeah, so we'll see. So Daniel Bryan, he's probably going to take some time off. He hits that Frank in the start. We need some yay boos and the yes kicks. Daniel Bryan goes, goes for an arm breaker. And then a belly to back superplex and then Pele kick. And then the second time, again, that gets reversed into a German suplex. Oh, and that Pele kick into a brain buster. The first one. Oh, that was a thing of beauty. And then I like the way AJ Styles then used the Styles Clash and the Phenomenal Forum to finish off Daniel Bryant. New Intercontinental Champion, AJ Styles. And honestly, a filet mignon match. It's been a while since we've seen one of these on WWE TV. That was utterly amazing. 
And that's took up like most of the show. I'm actually so happy they let those two just just have a match that that breathed. I don't know who they spoke to. I don't know who they begged. I don't know who they bribed. It worked though. Then we had a Braun and Miz and Morrison recap. Uh, Braun does a promo. Then Sasha and Bailey come up for their celebration. Alexa and Nikki Cross show up. Nikki Cross is still so cute looking. And the Iconics were on the, the screen there and said, Hi, hi, Sasha and Bailey. You better watch out behind you. They turn around and Alexa and Nikki Cross club them. That's good. That, it, that's not the snooze. That should actually be a pretty decent, decent match this Sunday, which I will be doing a reaction show from, which means no live wrestling. Unless something like amazing happens. And then I can show like at most six seconds because backlash was a bunch of pricks. But then we had the main then my only qualm is that the, the Daniel Bryan AJ Styles match should have been the main event. They should have closed it out. They could have done all this before. Timing would have still been there. The main event, because he is the universal champion. Braun Strowman and the Heavy Machinery taking on Dolph, Ziggler, The Miz, and Morrison. Morrison John Morrison's always a great entrance, though. A Dolph match starts off. Dolph gets tossed out of the ring. He doesn't want anything to do with, with Otis. Um, Miz actually gets in the hard way. gets tossed in by Otis. Gets worked over a little bit. Uh, poor Braun crushes Dolph. And then Baron... Corbin, hey, Mandy, you like men of power? I'm king. You could be queen. Now listen, the only thing Mandy Rose is being a queen of is Mandy Rose is queen of the trailer park meth houses here in Florida. Because that <sighs> Gene outfit, Mandy, I'm disappointed in you. But there was no Sonya Deville. So that's a good thing. There's no need for me to boost Sonya Deville. Uh, and then so Otis saw this. And Otis, kill! Otis, kill! So Otis runs from his match, goes backstage. He got back there pretty quick. Because Barry was trying to muscle up to little Mandy Rose. And yeah, make her kind of uncomfortable feeling. And then Otis came out. Kill! Kill! No, Otis! Stop! Yeah, Otis was gonna... Otis saw red, baby. He was gonna shove that robe and crown and scepter, all three items at the same time, where, where the king doesn't shine. Uh, and then, of course, back in the ring, so it's a 2 on one Miz and Morrison, and Dolph will go over Tucker Knight. Tucker gets beat up a little bit. He does. And he gets beat up, and then, then ouch! And then he goes to the outside, and Braun ate a short DDT on the mat. On the outside, ouch, ouch. Um, Otis eventually comes back, <laughs> knocks out Porter Morrison. Again, the Braun train goes crazy. Poor Miz, uh, Morrison almost goes, I think it's Mar yeah, Morrison almost went through the plexiglass. Otis, uh, um, Miz got tossed into said plexiglass, and Braun tossed Dolph back into the ring. Otis, the headbutt, and of course, the Caterpillar. Otis picks up the win over Dolph Ziggler, and they just kind of celebrate there because Mandy Rose shows up because she wanted to show that she was okay, and her man Otis saved her. And this was an okay match. This was a cheeseburger match. Overall, though, this felt like a surf and turf raw. And, or surf and turf SmackDown, I'm sorry. I'm used to SmackDown being so much garbage of recent. This was the best one in a while. Again, you put AJ Styles and Daniel Bryan and say, here, you have all the time you need. We can figure stuff out on the fly. So that was pretty good. Um, again, tomorrow I'm off.
because this video is going up tonight because I have to sober up quickly, caffeinate myself, get some work done. So this will be going up tonight. Uh, my prediction, El Vagabundo's predictions are already up. And then I might miss a little bit of backlash, but I'll be here for some backlash. R R and R show Sunday. So I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. And I'll talk to everyone probably for sure Sunday. Bye.